I don't even know what he was trying to say, really. But apparently the police didn't think it was legal. Take a look. Note that the Constitution is created first, then the government. To create a democratic nation for the people, by the people, of the people, it cannot be any other way. Yes. No, no foreign government can formulate the Constitution of another country. And as a matter of fact, ours was done exactly like that when Pierre Elliott Trudeau went to the British monarchy and had them draft our Constitution, the Charter, as it is known today. Paychecks are very important, I guess. Gotta do a paycheck. No foreign government has formulated a great Constitution of another country. It has to be created by the people themselves and becomes thus for all intents and purposes, they're protected you know. property. Not only the law, but it's a contract which subjugates the government to the people. So there was no violence, no call to violence, just his own theories about the world. No one crowding around him from a health point of view, except the cops, that is. Funny how they're always the ones doing all the social distancing violations when they arrest people for not social distancing. Now, right at that point, the camera points to another guy who's being arrested too, not sure why, doesn't seem violent either. This guy's just being walked away by half a dozen riot cops, not sure why, watch for 20 seconds. The government the camera. Camera. No, look, he's, he's, he's getting arrested. Is he? Over there, Jesse. Okay. In violation of our freedom! You're in violation of our freedom! In violation of our freedom! Because he's native? Because he's native? I don't know, could be. Maybe not. I think these cops were doing what the cops across Canada have been doing, just capriciously and whimsically applying laws that are surely unconstitutional, absolutely vague, and will be thrown out by the time they get to court in 6 or 12 months if they ever do get to court. But in the meantime, the police are literally ordering the country to remain under a form of house arrest and cracking down on peaceful protests. That's what we're looking at here. So that guy walked out by the police, and then a guy with an upside-down Canadian flag. You know what an upside-down flag means, right? It's a sign of distress. It's what ships do when there's something amiss. It's not a sign of disloyalty or a rebellion. It's a sign of pain, of grievance. Well, you can't have that. So watch that guy being walked out, again, by a cluster of cops who seem to be the only ones breaking the no-crowding rules. I'm here independently, but at the same time, they're going to do this to all of you. No. Another one with the megaphone will be next because you can speak the loudest. <laughs> and indeed, that heckler was correct. The guy with the megaphone was next. The guy with his theories about vaccines and globalism and constitutionalism and the charter. They tried to card him to sweep him up, but he said, what have I done? Take a look. I have not committed any offense today. No, he is not. As far as I am concerned, you are trying to abridge my unalienable rights. And I do not consent. I'm being charged. Okay. Right. So now I am being charged. So tell me exactly what I'm being charged with. So first it was being detained and now I'm being arrested. So why why am I being charged when there's a whole other group of people here and yet you're going to come and pick on me? Do you guys have a problem with the things that I was discussing here today? Well, he said 71 one, so make up your mind. 71 one, 73 one. I am here peacefully. I'm not doing anything wrong. It's an act. I am not in a group. It's an act. It's an act. I don't have ID. You guys took that from me last year. <laughs> so he didn't want to give his ID to the cops, and he says they took it from him last year anyways. I have no idea. I don't know who he is, really. I didn't listen to his whole manifesto. I just don't care enough to listen to the whole thing, and it feels pretty homemade and uninteresting to me, but I think there's probably a grain of truth to what he's saying. If the cops didn't actually take his ID from him last year, they'd probably know who he is. It seems like he's a bit of a fixture there. They were just sweeping him up, as police do to the lowly sometimes. I don't know if you could hear it, but it was a bit muffled. 
uh, when he asks what he actually did wrong, what offense, what crime, as opposed to the process crime of not giving your ID to a cop, they got it wrong. They said section 71.1 of the Public Health Act. Well, I checked. There is no section 71.1. And they corrected themselves and said 73.1. Okay. Well, here's what that part of the law says. A person who contravenes this act, the regulations, an order under Section 62, or an order of a medical officer of health or physician under Part 3, is guilty of an offense. So Section 73.1 is what gives the police the power to arrest someone for breaking a health order, but only for someone who breaks an order. It's for people who break a specific section of the Health Act or a specific order, uh, and those cops didn't cite the section that guy broke because they couldn't think of one because they didn't need one. They were just going to arrest him no matter what because they wanted to because he's obviously a pain in the neck and they seem to know him from before and they're just sick of him. Citing section 73.1 is like saying, I'm arresting you because I'm arresting you. Yeah, but for what? Well, I'm arresting you because I'm arresting you. No, no, that's not how it works, but you saw that's how it did work. That's an excerpt from my daily show, The Ezra Levant Show. Every day I do a monologue on the news of the day, then I interview an interesting guest, and then I read my hate mail. You gotta subscribe. Go to rebelnews.com.